God, He's telling me, oh, well, uh, it's difficult to know if you are a true master or not. I said, hey, it's good, it's good that you don't know, though. I don't have to work so hard. <laughs> no problem. I only do it just because you know. You ask me to, people ask me to. How? How can you tell? You look like me, you know, in the middle of two eyes. You can't tell, yeah? And I don't make miracles. I don't make anything to attract you at all. I just sit in a coffee shop sometimes drinking. <laughs> And if you want, I come here sometimes to talk to you. I mean, but I was thinking in the coffee shop, it was so difficult. I said, who? What? What am I going to talk about? And who will listen to all this? I suddenly felt, you know, the, fr <laughs> the frustration of going to talk to strangers that you have never met before in your life. And they're going to be convinced and then go get initiation and eat vegetarian and all that stuff for all their life. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not only that, they bring their friends and their wife and kids and they want to give everything to you. How, how do you do that? I mean, how do I do that? I mean, how am I going to do that? Today I sat in the coffee shop just like everyone else and I felt really like everyone else. And I feel like, how am I going to talk to these people that I have never met and might never meet again. And they don't even know anything about spirituality, no vegetarian experience, nothing. Maybe now and again they eat, uh, I would say, French fry, that's what they call vegetarian because they don't they want to eat anything else. Or like the Chinese people eat morning, morning vegetarian and the whole day, <laughs> for example, like that, that morning Buddha and the whole day, take a rest, <laughs> vacation. <laughs> yeah, but at least like if the Chinese or the Vietnamese, the Asian people, they kind of have more idea about vegetarian, yeah? They believe more in the invisible power. But how am I going to talk to the New Zealand people, you know? They are different, and I look different to them. They just come in and they accept me. You know, it's, for example, you know, like that. It's, it's not easy, huh? I was thinking, how am I going to do this? Okay, go. Congratulations. Sorry. Whoever has to be shaded. I want to sit again. Go in there. <laughs> You'd rather sit here, huh? <laughs> She likes to sit where we are very tired. So everyone goes in already? Yeah? That's cool. I just go to say hello again, right? Let them. Oh man. Okay, let's see what's going on. Come back some. Yeah. 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 the flowers for the sacrifice. <laughs> okay. All right. What else? It's okay, huh? I think it's okay. No? No? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, at least we sit together and encourage each other to, no, no. It's better than you sit there and not alone, it's lonely, right? So, and then you have maybe more kids, work harder than before, have more money, some of you, better job, yeah? Or even if you have the same money, you know how to manage it better. And you have more than before, you travel more than you ever did before. And with the same money, because you know how to sit here, mother. <laughs> you don't look tired. Yeah, that's the way you see. And uh, you know, you know, just know how to do things better. Yeah, and therefore you're just happier. Mm? You have more than before, even though maybe the same. You see, I have read uh, an article in a magazine.
How to become a millionaire? Do you want to hear? Huh? Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? Uh, it is very logical. Uh, people, you know, um, we give a lot of money away. Huh? Not a lot. For us, it's a lot. Yeah. Well, actually, it is also a lot. Millions of dollars is, is not little money in this world. Even though we can't compare to Bill Gates, you know. <laughs> we, we are different Gates. <laughs> we are also Gates. <laughs> you know, what is fun, man? <laughs> Funny farm it means the gate, yeah, the gate to heaven, yeah. the gate to this, the world of God. So, anyhow, we also gate, yeah. We also donate a lot of money for our capacity, yeah. And other people also think a lot. I mean, not a lot compared to a lot of other a lot of people of the World Bank, but a lot for what we earn, yeah, for for the ordinary action of people. Yeah? Most people don't give like that. So I do give, and a lot of people think that I'm very rich. I, I am also, but I'm not as rich as they think I am, which is good. <laughs> but if if they if they come to us, yeah, suppose if they were me and had that kind of money, they will look that rich, and they will be able to give that much. Not because they don't want to, just they don't know how to manage. You see, they don't know how to manage, so that it it will stretch out like that. So when I read that article, I think it was cool. I did it all already, how to become a millionaire. I knew it all already. But when I read the article, it looked like I wrote it myself. <laughs> yeah, because it's just natural. Some people happen naturally. But it is because we are also enlightened. Yeah, we also practice the enlightened way and the way of love. And we have very few wants in this world. Are you, you understand all of this? Yes. Yeah. yes. The Chinese and the Cantonese and all? And the New Zealand especially, you understand? <laughs> okay. So anyway, you see, just like the way you are now, before you had a lot, but you thought you don't have enough. And now however much you have, you can manage. You still can come to New Zealand or Thailand or wherever retreat, provided if you have holiday. Yeah, you can always manage. And that's a wonder. And you feel always enough, and you will feel always loved. I'm only one, but all of you feel that I love you alone, <laughs> love enough, or have enough love for everyone. It is because we practice the way of love, and we just know how to have enough. Just like how to save money to become richer. Not because you earn more money, not necessarily, but you save more. You want less, the unnecessary thing and then you save more money. So when you save one dollar, just like you earn one more dollar, you understand this? And it's even better than earning more, one dollar more. Because when you save one dollar, you don't need to go to work for that. You just cut out uh, some unnecessary things. Before I go out and buy everything, now you have to think carefully. Before you go out and buy everything, now you go just straight to the tofu. <laughs> Yeah. Save money, save time, save meeting. Yeah? Before we all cook all kinds of things, now just tofu, chap choy. <laughs> and then tomorrow, chap choy, tofu. <laughs> yeah, simple, huh? Simple life. Yeah? And before you go everywhere, maybe you need to book a hotel for yourself and your husband, and it's a lot of money. Now you just pack a tent. <laughs> Come out there, yeah, cool, fresh air, natural. Oxygen a lot around you, but you come under the tree, come on the grass, feel good, light, and economy. Awesome. Yeah, and we live together, we're happy. We don't need to stay in a big hotel to be happy. In fact, we're happier than when we stay in a big hotel. Yeah, because we have common ideas, interests, we love each other, and we just feel so good. And the nature, air, and the food, healthy, make us feel so good. You see? The money you didn't earn more, you don't have to earn more money, you just know how to live your life. Because you have only one life, this life. Whether I say the truth or not, you have heaven or not, or you have reincarnation or not, this life is all you know, right? 
And if you don't manage well, you, you cannot live freely and you cannot feel happy about it. You have to do what you really want and what is good for you. Of course, if you will tell me, then you can do anything you want. It's not true. What good for you is what you should do. Vegetarian is healthy, right? Meditation calms your nerves and makes you more bright and clever and loving. That's good for you. Yeah? It's not that you do anything you want. Of course, we can do anything we want. But what good for us is what the clever people would do. Saving money is better than earning money. Anything you save is like you earn, except that you don't have to go out and work for it and pay tax on it even. See? Anything you earn is yours. And then you can do everything you want. You can give yourself something you like or give to the needy people. That's what we do. We do all the time. I do also. What I told you, I do. I don't always do it so that it's written in the magazine. Most of the things I do are not written in the magazine. It is written because some people happen to be there and knew it and wrote a report about it. Or it is official, you know, like a concert, and everybody has to know. That's how it is. Otherwise, I do it every day, every time, every chance. <laughs> Sometimes one of the attendants laughs at me. He said, Master, how come McDonald's? meal is so expensive. It's the most expensive restaurant I have ever seen. <laughs> you know why? Because when we went in there, we saw some homeless people. They were looking for garbage. <laughs> and we, I gave them, you know, like $500. And <laughs> this one, he said, my God, just eating some French fry and two cola, that's it? <laughs> $500. <laughs> so he made jokes about it all the time. He said, Okay, next time when you say you want to check me out, I know which is the most expensive restaurant. <laughs> so I took him to McDonald's, you know, and we always share whenever. Most of the time we see homeless people, they hang around there or they look in for garbage and I cannot bear it. So I give them some, and I give what I have. So uh, he, he made jokes. He said, what? We eat only two French fries and two medium colas, and then we even have to serve ourselves and even stand in line. It's so expensive. <laughs> like, you know, because in first class restaurant, you sit there, you have napkins and everything, and the waiter comes, you know, and serves you like a king. Then you pay maybe two, three, five hundred dollars, hands. But two persons, only two, three hundred dollars, already expensive. I said, you couldn't imagine, McDonald's is more expensive. <laughs> it just makes jokes. <clears throat> so these things uh, we do because we love other people, because they are us anyway. So there's nothing to talk about, yeah? But sometimes, of course, we write it in magazines because also other disciples need to learn, yeah, from the example. Also, most of the things I do are open, yeah? So people can know. Just so we know mm, the things that we do. Just like you tell me what you do. And so the news report what I do to you. So you just so that we get in touch, you know, like we know each other's way of life and things like that. Like knowing each other. Not to boast for everybody else to know. If to boast for everybody else to know we should put it in a router or, you know, like <laughs> big news company, not just writing in our small magazine. But this is a way of life that we do that all the time. It should be the way of life, and everyone should do that. And I'm very proud of you that you do that all the time. I know that. I know you do that, individually. And still, you have enough money to spare to come here, to go to retreat, to come see me whenever possible. You see, your life becomes richer or not? Yes. yes. yes.